a call for an end to colonial legacies, France's role in Africa's gold restitution. The shadows of colonialism continue to cast a long and painful pall over Africa, with the legacy of exploitation and resource extraction haunting the continent to this day. France, like many former colonial powers, played a significant role in Africa's history, leaving a trail of devastation and loss. In this article, we examine the imperative of putting an end to colonial practices and advocating for the return of Africa's stolen gold as a crucial step towards justice and reconciliation. A History of Exploitation Colonialism in Africa, especially during the 19th and 20th centuries, was characterized by the plundering of natural resources, including gold, by European powers. France's colonial endeavors resulted in the extraction of vast amounts of gold from various African regions, leaving many nations impoverished and their cultural heritage diminished. The Lingering Impact The legacy of colonialism remains palpable in the socio-economic and political landscape of many African countries. Despite achieving independence, the after-effects of European domination continue to hamper progress and development. In particular, the illegal and exploitative extraction of Africa's natural resources, including gold, persists, perpetuating poverty and exacerbating existing inequalities. Advocating for restitution It is time for France to confront its colonial past and take decisive action towards restorative justice. Returning the stolen gold to its rightful owners represents a significant step in acknowledging the past atrocities and fostering a more equitable relationship between France and Africa. Restitution should not be seen as a mere act of charity, but rather as an ethical responsibility to correct historical injustices. Promoting Transparency and Accountability The process of gold restitution requires transparency and accountability. France should engage in open dialogue with African nations, seeking to establish mechanisms for the return of looted gold and establishing how these resources can be utilized for the betterment of the African people. This process should be free from corruption and should involve representatives from African governments and civil society to ensure fairness and inclusivity. Addressing Neocolonial Practices Restitution alone is not enough. France must commit to ending any neo-colonial practices that perpetuate dependency and exploitation. This includes re-evaluating trade agreements, investment practices, and development assistance to ensure they promote sustainable growth and benefit the African population directly. African Empowerment As part of the restitution process, African nations must be actively involved in determining how the returned gold will be utilized for the advancement of their societies. The funds should be channeled into projects that foster education, healthcare, infrastructure, and economic development, empowering communities and fostering self-reliance. Conclusion The issue of colonial legacies and the looting of Africa's resources, including gold, remains a poignant and unresolved chapter in history. For a true and lasting reconciliation, France must confront its past and commit to a future free from exploitation. Returning Africa's stolen gold represents not only a symbolic gesture but a concrete step towards restorative justice and a more equitable partnership between France and Africa. By acknowledging the atrocities of the past and working towards shared prosperity, the path can be paved for a future in which the wounds of colonialism finally heal and Africa can rise to its full potential.